I'm a genius. I'm a fucking genius. Hey, Mom! I'm a fucking genius! Zendaya is an American actress, singer, and producer. Uh, thank you. M my friends call me MJ. From a Disney star, she turned into one of the most prominent young actresses in Hollywood, became a real style icon, and a role model for fans all around the world. Zendaya, How Spider-Man's Girlfriend Lives. Zendaya Marie Stormer Coleman was born on September 1, 1996, in Oakland, California. She was born into a family of African and European roots. Her father, Kazimbi Ajumi, born Samuel David Coleman, has Nigerian, Macedonian, and Icelandic roots. Her mother, Claire Marie Stormer, is a white American, and she has German and Scottish roots. The girl's name literally reflects the history of her family. Zendaya is a variation of an African name, meaning to think. The middle name Marie came from her mother, and it is French. Stormer is a German last name, and Coleman is her American one. Zendaya intentionally left only her first name as her stage name, because it sounds cool and suggests analogies with some famous personalities. For example, Sharon Prince. Friends call her Daya a big head, which can be interpreted as imaginative, but in fact she got the nickname because of the large size of her head. And when her parents call her by her middle name Marie, the girl understands that she is in trouble. It means they are dissatisfied with something. Although Zendaya's parents are divorced, the family ties in the girl's family are very strong. She has three older half-sisters and two paternal brothers and nephews, with whom the actress spends a lot of time and sometimes picks up from school. Little Zendaya attended the elementary school where her mother was a teacher, but in the first year she was so shy that she had to repeat her first year. And today the girl admits that she is not a very big fan of parties and prefers to spend time with her loved ones, although many people take her shyness for arrogance and coldness. Zendaya's first auditions were for a role in the school play James and the Giant Peach, where she got a role without words. The actress said that she was a silkworm, but gave her all, acting with facial expressions and gestures. And at the age of six, the girl took part in a production as a part of Black History Month. She adored Shakespeare from childhood, which made her stand out among her peers. The fact is that her mother worked as a manager of the California Theater, named after William Shakespeare in the city of Arinda in the summer, and little Zendaya spent her summer holidays there, helping to seat guests and sell lottery tickets. At the age of eight, Zendaya joined the hip-hop dance group Future Shock Oakland, and was a member of it for three years. She also danced Tulu for two years at the Academy of Hawaiian Arts. Subsequently, Coleman studied at the Auckland School of Art and while still a student played several roles in local theaters. After graduating from art school, the young actress entered the Theater of the American Conservatory in San Francisco. Here she studied acting and perfected it in such performances as Richard III, As You Like It, and Twelfth Night. Zendaya also devoted a lot of time to sports. At school, she played on the basketball team, simultaneously doing track and field. Her father, a physical education teacher, dreamed of his daughter becoming a professional basketball player and the first girl in the National Basketball Association. At the age of 11, Zendaya started thinking about becoming a vegetarian after seeing a slaughterhouse. She finally gave up meat a few years later after watching PETA's video, Glass Walls. At the same time, she hates vegetables and became a vegetarian solely because she loves animals very much. The girl's favorite dish is pizza, and she also likes ice cream, noodles, burritos, rice salad, and fruit flakes. Zendaya started her professional career at the age of 13 by working as a model for local clothing stores. She participated in campaigns for Macy's, Mervyn's, and Old Navy, and also starred as a backup dancer in a Sears commercial, the main star of which was Selena Gomez. For the sake of their daughter's promising career, Zendaya's parents moved from Oakland to Los Angeles. Her father also became her manager and agent. In 2009, the girl recorded a cover of Katy Perry's song, Hot and Cold, for the 15th compilation album of children's covers under the title, Kids Bop. In the same year, she got a role in the Disney series, Shake It Up performing the song Leave Me Alone by her favorite singer Michael Jackson at the audition. 
Dogs can't talk. But sometimes. No. <laughs> At the same time Zendaya's childhood dream came true, because she adored programs on the Disney Channel, especially the series Hannah Montana. On the set, she met actress Bella Thorne, her future best friend, who she worked with more than once in the future. In 2011, the girl was involved in other Disney Studio projects. She starred in an episode of the TV series Good Luck Charlie, voiced the character in the short cartoon Pixie Hollow Games, released the single Swag It Out, and recorded the soundtrack to the TV series Shake It Up, Watch Me, featuring Bella Thorne. This song reached number 86 on the Billboard Hot 100. Until the age of 16, Zendaya was forbidden from dating boys, but on the set of Shake It Up, she had to kiss her partner in the series. However, the girl did not want her first kiss to take place in front of the camera and refused, saying that she would just kiss him on the cheek. In 2012, Zendaya recorded soundtracks for the second season of Shake It Up, appeared in the TV series Ant Farm, and starred in the first full-length film from the Disney studio Bad Buddy. The actress got the role of a schoolgirl who, like her best friend played by Belle Thorne, wanted to work with a fashion publication. In an interview, the girl said that her first love lasted four years. It is believed that it was singer and dancer Trevor Jackson, and they started dating in 2012, although Zendaya herself stated that they were just friends. In 2013, Coleman released the album Zendaya, The record was well received by listeners and it was recorded in the same studio where Michael Jackson worked on the cult albums Bad and Dangerous. In the same year, she became the youngest participant of the show Dancing with the Stars at that time. With her partner Val Chermkovsky, she won second place. Zendaya also voiced a character in a film about dogs with superpowers, super buddies, and published a book Between You and Me in which she shared her experience of overcoming teenage problems. The girl was inspired to write this book by questions that fans asked her on Facebook and Twitter. The questions dealt with various topics from fashionable clothes and friendship to fulfilling dreams. In 2014, Zendaya played the main role in the teen comedy Zapped, and the following year appeared in the role of a high school spy in the Disney series Casey Undercover. Okay, not to be all up in your business or anything, but if you knew you were going to interrogate me, why exactly did you bother with the whole gag thing? In the credits, the actress was also listed as a producer. At her initiative, they changed the name of the main character, accordingly the project name, and a black family was included in the plot. The girl also greatly influenced the image of KC, making her smart, trained in the martial arts, socially awkward, and unable to sing or dance. The series won over the audience, so it was renewed for another two seasons. Generally speaking, 2015 was eventful for the girl. She released the song Something New together with Chris Brown, debuted her new collection of shoes, and later Day of Clothes, starred in Taylor Swift's video Bad Blood, then in an episode of the TV series Blackish, and in one of the issues of the advent calendar of Love Magazine. The actress also became the prototype for a Barbie doll. Zendaya looked exactly like Barbie when she walked the carpet at the Oscars. A dazzling white dress by Vivian Westwood combined with daring dreadlocks. In a thank you post, the girl noted that as a child, she could not find a Barbie that looked like her. But times have changed and dolls have become more diverse. By the way, this image caused a racial scandal when the popular American TV presenter of the program Fashion Police, Juliana Rancic, commented that Zendaya's outfit smelled of patchouli oil and marijuana. After the event, the actress wrote a big post in which she drew attention to the distorted perception of African-American culture that had not gone away, after which the TV presenter apologized. In addition to racial prejudices, Zendaya also struggles with unrealistic beauty ideals that fashion magazines established. On her Instagram, she posted photos before and after Photoshop, where her already slender figure was made even thinner. After that, the images were restored to their original form. Also in 2015, the girl graduated from high school. With her acting career kicking off, she switched to homeschooling and studied for five hours a day. At her graduation ceremony, she knew only two classmates, but still she said that it was fun and everyone was very nice to her. 
The following year, Zendaya took part in the filming of Beyonce's visual album Lemonade, appearing in the video for the song All Night. Zendaya is a big fan of Beyonce, and during their first meeting, the actress herself admitted that she behaved like an idiot. Zendaya even had to ask her hairdresser to tell the singer that she usually was not that weird. The girl openly expresses her love for Beyonce not only on Instagram videos, where she dances to her favorite tracks, but also on the carpet of the Bet Awards 2021, recreating the idol's outfit from 18 years ago. Zendaya celebrated her 20th birthday by launching a campaign to raise $50,000 for the Convoy of Hope movement, fighting for women's rights. The actress is also engaged in public and charitable events. She is a UN Goodwill Ambassador on HIV and AIDS. On her 19th birthday, she asked relatives, friends and fans to transfer money instead of gifts to fight AIDS in Africa. And in January 2017, she took part in the Women's March. At the same time, Zendaya does not like being called an activist and instead calls herself just an actress, insisting that she is not doing anything outstanding. In 2017, the premiere of the movie Spider-Man Homecoming took place, where Zendaya took on the role of Michelle Jones, or MJ as her friends call her. Because I don't have any friends. Like all Marvel projects, the movie was shot in the strictest secrecy. At the auditions, the actors were told that this was a teen comedy about school, although thanks to her agents, the actress still found out that she was reading the script of the new Spider-Man, but Zendaya claimed that she remained in the dark about the role itself until later on. It seemed to her that this was just the girl from a Spider-Man movie, but just before the screen test, she was told that she would read out the text for MJ, among other things. The film grossed $117 million in its first weekend, taking first place at the box office, and Zendaya was named the most valuable actress of the film despite her short screen time. Can't believe you guys are at this lame party. You're here too. Am I? The actress brought several memorable details to her character, which delighted the director. For example, per her instruction, MJ did not wear makeup. In August, the girl appeared in the Bruno Mars music video Versace on the floor, and in December, she was a guest judge in the finale of the 15th season of the show Project Runaway. This is not her first appearance on the show, and she was also an invited guest to the 20th season of America's Next Top Model. On December 20th, 2017, the world premiere of the musical The Greatest Showman took place. In it, Zendaya played circus aerialist Ann Wheeler, who falls in love with Zac Efron's character at a time when interracial romances were taboo. It's not just that. You never had somebody look at you the way your parents looked at me. The way everyone would look at us. The actress herself performed tricks on the trapeze, although the conditions of the set were different from the training sessions. The swing was about 16 feet higher, and there was no net at the bottom. Hugh Jackman helped her cope with her fear. He said, you're cool, and when Wolverine himself says that, it means a lot. At the same time, Zendaya finally turned from a teenage idol into a new style icon. We need to thank not only her stylist, Lo Roach, with whom she had been working with since 2011, but also her parents, who have allowed their daughter to experiment with outfits since childhood. In 2018, the actress voice acted in the cartoons Duck Duck Goose and Smallfoot, and for the latter she also sang two songs in the soundtrack. In June 2019, Zendaya began acting in the HBO drama series Euphoria, an adaptation of the Israeli series of the same name. I'm not doing opiates, Mom. When did you start doing pills? I did Gia. I fucking didn't! I told you! Gia. I thought oh, it wasn't a good idea! Gia, please! She also acted as an executive producer of the project. The role of a drug-addicted girl named Rue was difficult for the actress to play, but helped to finally get rid of the image of a Disney princess. This work received positive reviews from critics and earned Zendaya an Emmy Award for Best Actress in a Drama Series. She became the youngest person to win this award. After a brilliant run, the project was extended for a second season which is scheduled to be released in 2022. For several months, Zendaya dated a colleague from Euphoria, Jacob Elordi. At first, they were just close friends, but after the filming of the series ended, their relationship turned into a romantic one. 
The actors didn't comment on the breakup in any way, but they say Jacob was the one who initiated it and broke up with the actress because of Kaya Gerber. According to rumors, Zendaya was previously in a relationship with American football player Odell Beckham, but this information is not officially confirmed in any way. Also in 2019, Zendaya returned to play the role of MG in Spider-Man Far From Home. The film, as expected, became a commercial success, becoming the fourth highest grossing film of the year. No, he's, he's just gonna collect tiny spoons when we're traveling to other countries. Like a, like a grandmother? I'm not collecting tiny spoons, he's collecting tiny spoons. Oh, okay, well, that was a real roller coaster. <laughs> In 2020, the actress began work on the drama Malcolm and Marie, which premiered in 2021. You're not gonna wanna survive it though because it's embarrassing. Don't worry, I'm not so petty I throw it out in argument because I'm angry. I didn't mean it. Too late. As an executive producer, Zendaya allocated shares of the film to everyone who participated in its creation during the pandemic. And part of the proceeds was transferred to Feeding America, an organization that helps the hungry. For the role of Maria, Zendaya received a nomination for Best Actress at the Critics' Choice Awards 2021, and also became the winner of the See Her Award, becoming the fifth actress to be awarded this award. In April of 2021, Zendaya became a co-host of the Academy Awards ceremony together with Brad Pitt. In July, the animated sports film Space Jam A New Legacy was released, with the actress voiced one of the characters. In July, Zendaya and her partner from the film Spider-Man, Tom Holland, were photographed kissing in a car. A few weeks later, the actors came together to their mutual friend's wedding, and later Holland publicly congratulated Zendaya on her 25th birthday, addressing her as my MJ. And Tom Holland has already confirmed the legitimacy of the affair, and even introduced the girlfriend to his parents. On September 3rd, the premiere of the fantastic film Dune took place at the Venice Festival. I don't believe you're the Lisa Al Gaib, but I want you to die with honor. Most critics spoke positively about the film, but the real commotion was caused by the actress's outfit on the red carpet. Her bellman dress was made of flesh-colored leather with an effect of wet, with a long slit that fit the star's body literally like second skin, because it was made using the cast of Zendaya's torso. In December, the continuation of the story of superhero Peter Parker, Spider-Man No Way Home was released, and preparations for the filming of the film Dune 2 have already begun. According to rumors, Zendaya will take part in the filming of the fantastic drama Megalopolis. The actress is also working on producing a thriller about the first African-American woman in a prestigious college called The White Lie. Zendaya is focused on her film career and has decided to leave music until the passion for it returns. Therapy helps her sort out her priorities, and when she is not working, she likes to draw and write poetry. Another way to relax, and even a kind of meditation for her, is to watch Harry Potter. According to her, Potter films are on at her house every day. Zendaya has a pet dog named Noon, and when she was eight years old, the family had a giant schnauzer named Midnight, who has already died. Zendaya has been living on her own since she was 19. The two-story mansion in Los Angeles worth $1.4 million has five bedrooms and five bathrooms, and the house's area is 4,200 square feet. While it looks very cozy now, at first the actress slept on the floor on a mattress, and instead of a sofa she used a sunbed on the lawn near the pool. In March 2020, the actress purchased another house in the prestigious Encino area of Los Angeles with an area of 5,000 square feet for $4 million. It has six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a huge living room, several fireplaces, and a balcony. Also on the grounds of the house, there is a swimming pool, a guest house, and a huge garden. Whether the actress moved in there or not is unknown, especially since she tried to rent it out. In December 2020, Zendaya acquired more property. In New York, she bought an apartment with a personal elevator in Key Tower for $4.9 million. She rents it out for $16,000 a month. The 2,000 square foot apartment has several rooms and a spacious living room with a kitchen. 
There are many natural elements to the interior, for example, oak floors. Zendaya's first car was the Lexus RC350, and then a Range Rover Vogue, Audi Q7, and later a Cadillac Escalade, Zendaya Coleman's fortune is $15 million, which she partially earned from advertising contracts. In recent years, she has managed to become the face of Lancome, Bulgarian Valentino, and even released two capsule collections in collaboration with Tommy Hilfiger. What do you think is the secret to Zendaya's success? If you like the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.